U.S. Marshals are on the hunt for what they say is a violent burglar responsible for break-ins across Valencia County, possibly across the metro. His alleged accomplice has been arrested, but she's already out of jail, and that has residents worried. Police really want to get this man behind bars. They say 24-year-old Carlos Castillo and 23-year-old Rosie Lortz were caught burglarizing a home in Bosque Farms on Monday by the homeowner. I got on the phone with 911. They hurriedly backed out of my driveway, started hauling it down the road. I stupidly followed them. That homeowner now scared because of what happened next. He pulled the gun out of the window and fired it at a witness that was just up the street from the residence. Um, she had the children in the vehicle. When she returned, she found her home trashed, many of their valuables gone. The getaway vehicle, familiar to many in the county, they say it's been spotted at several burglaries. Residents had been sharing pictures of it on social media, hoping to alert others. The response was immense, just of how these people have been robbing homes in Valencia County for the last three to four months. Police eventually caught Lortz, but Castillo got away. They're concerned he'll hurt someone. He is a known violent offender. He's a convicted felon and also is known to um, run from law enforcement. Police say they've linked the couple to at least a dozen burglaries in the county and think they may be connected to purse snatchings in Albuquerque, even a home invasion in Los Lunas. Our main goal right now is to get him in custody. Uh, he is a suspect in many burglaries and violent crimes, and so I think that Bosque Farms and also Valencia County uh, will be much more at ease when we capture this individual. But Castillo isn't the resident's only concern. Lortz is already out of jail, just days after her arrest, after posting a $2,500 bond. They can't just be in and out of the system. There's no consequences for their actions. We have to speak up. Now, police say Lortz was out of jail before they could even finish serving the search warrant on the vehicle used in the crime. Both Lortz and Castillo have very long criminal histories, which makes the victims wonder why they aren't being held on higher bonds.